Hey everyone, today I will be working with my mini horizontal and since we have these green lines on the edge of these pages, I thought maybe we could use some palm trees, palm leaves and make a nice little spread uh, that's very tropical to celebrate the last few days of summer. So let's... Uh, so I thought I didn't have enough, so this is all I found originally, and then I saw that in the student book, there is a whole page of stickers of palms, so I'll be using those. In addition to the palms that you can see in the, can you see this here? These palms here from the Radiate Positivity. So the ones in the Radiate Positivity book are outlined in black, so I really like those too. So I'm gonna mix and mix and match all these different palms. So I'm gonna take my pages out first. Okay, and we can start. Got stickers all over the place. All right, so. So they're gonna be coming from the bottom, going up to the top and through the bottom here. So. Let's get started. I'm gonna start with my biggest leaves. I'm gonna take this right over here. So at this point, I'm gonna speed up the video. I'm putting the palm leaves on the bottom corner. I'm gonna start with that, and I'm going to randomly place some of the lighter ones with the darker ones, and I especially like the palms that are outlined, um, just so it's not all one layer and one even thing. I do like to overlap them. It's not a big deal if you do and I cut off the excess on the bottom with um, scissors. I got these from Joann's and they're specifically for stickers and um, working with adhesives. They don't stick to the scissors. It's really important that you find tools that are for the job that you're doing. It makes everything a whole lot easier and more enjoyable. And of course, the more enjoyable the job is, the more likely that you are to finish it. So as it stands now, I wasn't too certain about how this layout was gonna end up. I was kind of scared, thought I would have to trash the whole thing. Um, it wasn't really looking up to par, it wasn't what it looked like in my head, but I decided to just continue. Sometimes you just gotta work through it. So I just continued placing leaves across the bottom and on the other side as well on the other page. And then I decided to go uh, along the border of the top. You'll see I start putting leaves on the top left-hand side but before I do that, I'm finishing the bottom left-hand corner, adding more palm leaves. And it seems like the more I put, the more I wanted to put <laughs> to give it more of a lush tropical feel like we're in the Amazon rainforest. That was a kind of looking, the look that I was going for. I'm going on vacation, not a little vacation, just like a weekend getaway to the Hamptons. And I wanted that kind of, not that the Hamptons are tropical in any way, but I wanted to have some sort of vacation feel to it. So that's why I wanted to put a lot of palm trees and really kind of do it over the top. I didn't have a lot to do this week. I am still on vacation. So I didn't have to worry about this spread being too functional and I didn't have to worry about Thursday, about not having enough space on Thursday to write my to-dos because um, my last few days of summer as a teacher, they are glorious and I'm going to take advantage of it <laughs> and enjoy my planning and all my time and put as many stickers on that damn page as I want. So at this point, I'm finishing up the bottom, wondering if I did a little bit too much, too over the top. But then I realized if I put some leaves on the top at this point that I might balance it out, that it might not be so bottom heavy. So I'm going to start doing that in a bit, putting some on the side, just to balance it out a little bit. So here I am, I'm starting to decorate the corner, the left-hand corner of the page. And I, I think it makes a big difference. The page is not so bottom heavy now. I'll just add a little bit more. And then I'm going to start putting some letter stickers on Friday, because that's when we leave for the Hamptons. So now I'm going to start with the letter stickers. I'm going to be spelling out Hamptons, and I'm hoping that I have enough space to put the entire word on. So I'm estimating how much space I'm going to need, and I decide I'm gonna to have to replace that sticker. 
So I start adding the letter stickers very lightly to the page because I want to be able to take them off if I need to, if they're not perfectly straight. That way um, I'm not going to rip anything. But then I decide it just wasn't cutting it. And I know that I have to use the ruler trick. So I'm going to put them lightly onto the ruler to keep them straight. This is a trick that many planner people and scrapbookers use to keep things straight. Now I'm using a thick ruler. It's really not ideal and much harder to do. I just didn't want to get up and get a thin ruler. But of course it is easier if you're using a thinner ruler for this trick. It just keeps everything straight and then I'm going to be able to put all the stickers down at the same time. You'll see. So I just have one more sticker to put onto the ruler and then I'll be able to put it on the page. So you start from the top and you just gently roll them down and then all the stickers are straight. So that is the ruler trick. So now I'm taking out some sticker books. I'm going to be looking for some boxes to put. Sometimes I do like to use mod liners to make my own boxes, but I have so many boxes now I really don't need to do that. I might as well use the boxes that I have. So in this spread I am going to use some of the boxes. I do like that they have some green ones here that match the palm trees perfectly. And I will be using my mod liners for this, for this spread anyway, as I usually do. But I'll be using those mod liners in lines instead of boxes for this spread. So I'm going through the other boxes to see if there's anything else or any other stickers that jump out at me. I'm looking through my planner to see what I have scheduled and I'm going to be putting the boxes according to those meetings or things that I have to do. It's very light this week as I'm on vacation. Okay, so now that I'm done with the boxes, I'm going to be start to use my mod liners and I'm going to make lines across the page. I'm using those lines that are in the planner as my guide and I'm trying to make them each line touch the line above so they have that guide to keep them straight and I'm using nice even pressure trying not to break the line because if you break the line there's a little mark that happens and you have to do the lines first because if you do them after you write on them it will smudge at least with the pens that I use I use a papermate flare and that will smudge and also the Muji pens will also smudge so I like to do them first. And I'm not going to be using every line for to do or to write on. I just like the way it looks. But if I do need, do need to write a to do, at least uh, my to do's will be straight and colorful. So now I'm going to start the next page. People ask me all the time how I keep my lines straight. Uh, I basically do one long flowy motion. I do not rest my wrist onto the table and I try not to break the line. That's the easiest way. You can practice on another sheet of paper before you, you write it in on the planner. And there it is, my finished product. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And you're welcome to come to my Instagram page, Twinkle Plans Her Day. And follow me, you'll see many more spreads just like this one. Thanks for watching. See you later.